What's up, Dark Wall Street? Talking to you a little bit more about why, why, why is she in the movement? It's because I understand what these corporations are doing. How is it that this leak gets to take our water? Beautiful body of water. Beautiful body of water and sell it back to us. Make us fight for it. Make us go sit somewhere and in a group and fight for it. We, we got to have this water. We got to have these locations. Don't cut off these locations. And That's a game, people. And I'm probably, I mean, my channel probably will be shut down just for the images that I am showing because a lot of people don't want to. When I, when I go this far, people don't want to align themselves with me. They didn't just do it to uh, Flint. They did it to a white community about seven, eight years ago. I seen the documentary on it. Two years later, they ended up with cancer. Keep thinking that this shit is not going to affect you. Keep thinking that it's not going to affect you or, or it's not going to affect your children. You have to say something. Say something. Y'all leave me some comments or what y'all think or whatever. Um, that's the most important thing to me in this movement is making sure that we take care of um, what God has given us, which is ourselves. So, I love y'all. Peace. Hi, my name is Karina, and I'm actually not from Michigan. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I believe that I came and spoke right after this gentleman for a reason. I would like to address a couple of things. Actually, I don't come before you guys to speak scientifically. I don't just want to talk to you guys. I would like to talk to everybody in this room on behalf of the city of Flint, Michigan. This gentleman before me spoke, and he stated that this corporation that we are fighting against right now that is greed-hungry, and they look only after their own pocketbook and not after the care and the health of the people. He stated that they create jobs for the people. Well, I can tell you what, these people that are employed by this corporation may not understand the significance of privatization of water and the significance of what is happening in the city of Flint, Michigan. If you want to know where we can put some jobs, we can do it right now, tomorrow, today, in Flint. We can dig up these pipes and we can get this city some new pipes. also. Please don't forget about the city of Flint. This is a city that has been oppressed and they have been robbed from the simple value of what a human right. Water. Water. Not only has their water been dried up and poisoned, but it has been taken away from them. So everything that Nestle is about, the privatization of water and having bottled water delivered straight to your home, they are living off of. That's right. They are living off of it. They are tired of it. And this is going to happen nationally. It is not just Flint. Flint. Michigan is ground zero. We all need to remember that this is not just the city of Flint that we fight for, although I do. I hope that more of you guys do also. They're not that far. Please get there. Um, but this is a global issue. Nestle Corporation is very greedy. They're very wicked. What happened in Flint, Michigan, and what will certainly happen in our nation, is run by greedy wickedness, and it will it will negatively affect all of us. You cannot, you cannot look to fill the pocketbook of your, your bank account. You cannot, with the idea of making profit, gentlemen, sir. Water. You, you cannot. We're talking about human lives here, people that matter. So many children, every child in Flint, Michigan, will never know what it is like to run water from their tap. That's right. Bottled water is, is an everyday average thing to them. Running water from your tap is a luxury. I have three children. I cannot imagine. 
I cannot imagine them never seeing the days of being able to drink from a hose or a tap. I have 30 seconds left. And if I say one more thing, I'm not speaking scientifically. I'm asking you guys to please remember the city of Flint, Michigan, because these people are fantastic and they've been suffering for long enough. And Nestle, Governor Schneider's wife, also has a hand in this Nestle Corporation. She talked about what they are suffering from. So don't those things. Please get there. Please get there. Don't listen to the lies. It is not being fixed. They need your help.